This is Kurt Eichenwald. You might remember Kurt Eichenwald as the victim of a weaponized GIF. He allegedly had a seizure when somebody sent him a GIF with inverted colors flickering in and out, which his wife claims triggered a seizure. No joke, here's the court order. This happened a couple of months ago after his appearance on Tucker Carlson. But let's just go ahead and move on. Kurt Eichenwald was tweeting about receiving a bunch of hate mail and anti-Semitic pamphlets in the mail. Well, people were accusing him of photoshopping them and he took a picture of right next to his monitor saying, here, look, this is it right here. Here's the proof. Well, the internet noticed that he had a tab open. Typing those words into Google led people to this. And as you can tell from the tags, we got BBW, Big Ass, Big Breasts, Bike Shorts, Bikini, Blowjob, Defloweration, Face Sitting, Glasses, Impregnation, MILF, Naked Ashy, Schoolgirl Uniform, Smell, Stockings, Swimsuit, Teacher, X-Ray, Yuri, which is, I believe, lesbian uh, hentai. Kurt Eichenwald, who was digging himself a bit of a hole, decided, fuck it, we need to go deeper. Instead of just admitting that he might like hentai, Kurt Eichenwald decided on a really good excuse why that was open. He decided to try to convince everybody that he and his children were showing his wife that tentacle hentai was real. Sigh. Okay, I'm a dumbass. Believe it or not, my kids and I were trying to convince my wife that tentacle porn existed. I tried to find some to show her that it was real, but I couldn't find any and ended up with this. My family reads my Twitter feed so they know this is true. While hentai, until now, I thought it was called manga, was on screen as part of a search to prove to my wife that tentacle porn exists. What difference would it make? Seriously, while I don't see the appeal of cartoon porn, porn is a multi-billion dollar industry. People obviously look at it. Let us do one last crossword together as brothers. No. Shall we? Yes, let's. Nope. No. Let's. It's called hentai, and it's art. Aside from maybe weirding some people out by saying that he was alongside his children trying to convince his wife that tentacle born existed. He really didn't do anything wrong. He definitely put his foot in his mouth. He maybe even directly lied to cover up the fact that he just likes hentai. He could have just said it. Instead, he made himself look even worse. While some troll jokes today have been great, disturbing thing is all the people reacting in horror that my adult kids and I talked about porn. You know, it's an interesting day when even your own kids are trolling you. They think this whole thing is hilarious. Wow. Just check back in. Still getting trolled hard. At least this time it's funny and I deserve it for setting this off myself. This tweet storm response isn't as bad as most. At least people are only sending cartoons rather than death threats, but many of them are libs. It's quite amusing how he was made an MSNBC contributor after his appearance on Tucker Carlson, especially considering how out there it was with his big binder that looked like a bunch of brand new paper inside of a brand new binder with the words Tucker Carlson falsehoods written on it. It was, it's fucking theater. If you haven't seen his interview or his appearance, his performance art on Tucker Carlson, I would highly suggest checking that shit out. And then how he ended up becoming a, quote, victim of the first weaponized gif. It's just pure insanity. Meme magic is real, is what they were saying when that happened. And I find it interesting that later on, after he had been catching all of this backlash, that's when he comes out to say that his children or his kids were adults. It kind of makes a big difference because a lot of people had this thought in their head that he was telling his 8 and 10 year old about tentacle porn or him and his 8 and 10 year old were sitting around telling his wife, no, um, it's real. Johnny knows about it. I've seen his history. He's well aware of that shit. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end with this clip that I found on Twitter that someone made. And I wish I had thought of this because it, it's just brilliant. But uh, enjoy. I don't think I will have a career after this. I think he, I think he, I think he, I'm going to be honest. He broke me. He broke me. 
broke. And then I was like, no, this isn't right. It's just not right. And I apologized because that was the right thing to do and I meant it. And then I saw the tide turning and I saw what they were doing. And I went, oh, okay, they're trying to spin this and they're making it about Baron. And obviously that was never my intent. I would never want to hurt anyone, much less a child. But I started to see what was really happening. And then it was a mob mentality pile on. And so many people have expressed to me personally across the country at my shows, they're scared. So, yeah, I don't know what's, I don't know if I'm going to get arrested today. I don't know. Do but I have to CNN stand up. You? Excuse me? What do you think about CNN firing you? It's, it's hurtful to me.